Hi YouTube, this is Jay Pal. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to fix your game slot when it's not reading the games or you have bent or broken prongs. Um, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos that shows you you need to uh, unsolder this, all the corner points and uh, all the prongs but um, basically there's a much faster way that I do it normally um, when I do repair these DSI, DS lights, DSIs, even the 3DS. Um, I usually check in here, and pretty much if you have good eye or with the light, you can see when there's uh, you can see the broken prongs, the bent prongs. You can see them, and um, basically what you do, you just um, match the one that's broken. And uh, most of the times, three or four will be broken, sometimes five. And uh, instead of doing all that work, removing all of this, is, is you could just pull one by one, and it's uh, much easier, much faster. Well, for me, it's much faster, much easier. And um, sometimes um, I'm, I'll get these slides that are just for parts and I'm broken. So I just use this, you know, I can remove this. Or the charging port is broken, or even the volume is bad. Bad. Just remove all that, and I use them for parts. So basically, this is. Uh, I've been using this one for parts, and uh, you don't even have to take a motherboard out. You do not have to take a motherboard board to replace the prongs. And uh, basically, you need a. You will need a needle like this, and you will need a soldering iron like this one. Thirty watts. 40 watts, you know. Um, you find the radio check. This one's this long pin. It's from the turkey. Uh, I don't know. My wife had them shoot on Thanksgiving, and that's when I I noticed I could use this for uh, to repair the prongs uh, before I should remove the whole thing. Okay. Um, basically, what you do, you stick the needle behind, and. Uh, and it pops right up, see? Easily. That's how easy it is. And uh, how you do some um, clippers, pull it out. That's it. See? This one's good. This was actually good. Uh, I'm just showing you. Um, I haven't seen any videos like this uh, on YouTube, so that's why I'm doing this one. And uh, basically, when you take the bad one out, Sometimes you could fix them, and sometimes you can't fix them. You gotta replace it. But um, and uh, when you're about to put it back in there, make sure, make sure you have a, um, make sure you have a game inserted in here. Otherwise, if you don't, it's important that you have a game in there. Otherwise, when you put this one back in, it's gonna overlap. It might go over, and uh, when you put it, it's gonna rip against our break again. So make sure you have a game inside. That way it'll be, it'll it'll insert the right way. And um, make sure you have a game. Doesn't have to be deal or no deal. Just any game in there. And you grab the same, the the new pin. The new pin and um. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how, that's how you do it. And then you re-solder it back. You solder it back. I fix many systems like this. I mean... Fix many, many of them like that. And that's pretty much. If you look inside, I don't know if you can see inside. But. That's how you. That's how you do the repair. If you have any questions, please uh, ask, subscribe, and uh, it's
that's pretty much how you do the same with for the DSI, same thing. You stick the needle behind. I'm just gonna show you how to do the see this one? I'm just I mean, that's I mean takes a little bit takes a little bit of practice, but once you have it it's gonna it's gonna be nailed. You're gonna nail it right away. How you do it that's easy sometimes it's only three or four bent and that's how you do it it's, it's a good one and same process you stick a game you put a game in there and then you just uh, 